Hey guys, what's up? Well, I'm here with another regular knife review. This one is a fighting knife slash combat knife. Uh, and one I have been carrying for a couple of... One I've been carrying for um, about a week now since I've got it. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Kanku. Kanku has the knife. You know, Masalong has the knife. And I think Keisler has the knife and this another one with the wire, I keep forgetting the name. That one has the knife too. And it's related to the last mm, three Karambit styles knives that I showed you guys before. Well, this is it right here. This is a big nasty boy right here. It's the um it's pretty much the clone version to that Bastinelli knife. The Mako fixed blade is a pretty much a clone to it. Which, by the way, I'm going to buy that fixed blade Mako with that four and a half inch blade. Fucking crazy, dude. I saw Bassinelli with that in his hand. And I tell you, the shitting blade came out this fucking far, dude. I'm, I'm, I gotta get that. Like that I, I gotta get that fucking Karambit style knife for real, dude. But anyway. It has the um, what I like to say, fixed blade pocket clip, which is my favorite pocket clip to carry for a fixed blade, other than the um, those ones, those belt clips that you clip on, and the other type of belt loop clips. This is my favorite for real, man. But see, you have all these lanyard holes, so you have options to carry however you want to carry a knife for real. Turn off this. So yeah, you know you have different options to carry a knife for real. But really like this pocket clip. This is the the, the ULT clip. This one is a different clip. I, I I bought this clip. It wasn't a stock clip. I bought this one because it's a little tougher than the the one that comes with these knives here. Really nice clips, man. I grown to like them a lot. Really nice tight sheath. No rat, no rattling. This in there like most Chrysler knives or Kanku knives for real. Be. I wear this on the left side, off side to my um revolver. But yeah, no nice sheath. Now let's talk about the knife now. It's a very familiar shape blade from Bastinelli. Big ass friggin knife. And if you see me on my um my 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 my, my Instagram page, you already see me post with this knife already. But this is just the black version. I got two of them. I like this knife so much that I just went and got two. Stone wash black. The black one is why I carry to work. Stone wash one is why I carry when I'm out. But yeah, this, this, this is a nasty ass knife, man. Like I mentioned, Bastinelli, he has the version that his own comes out about that fucking long. That's a lot of fucking steel dread. Yeah, it's Karambit style with this silver blade look alike. Came out the box. Mm, a good sharpness. It wasn't as sharp as the Karambit and the last small one. It didn't came out as sharp as those. But this is pretty sharp, really wicked 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 ass edge so we have here is this dark stone wash this is not black but you can obviously see it from the camera like this dark stone wash it still has a little reflective there. oh yeah and the ring now the ring now i like this size ring this size ring is is fairly cool for me mm, fairly cool size ring and uh with this four inch grip plus the ring fits big hands fits really nice and solid the knife has a lot of real estate here so you go get a little comfort there by the Ricasso and uh perfect in reverse grip absolutely perfect in reverse grip this is a scary ass knife for me first time i saw this knife from Boston Lee a few few years back wasn't really liking it 
didn't really like how this knife was. I, I didn't really gravitate to it because this freaking drop. You see this drop looking like a almost like a C but style but not not quite. But then you know as it years go by and cheaper version for it came out. I just say you know let me just give it a try because it's only a twenty five buck knife. And, was 25 bucks for a knife is a damn good price if it's a fixed blade, right? Depending on where you get it from, but you know, mostly can't go and muscle along and get it, they have the nice shit, you know. Fit and finish is cool, fit and finish is nice because just from the way it looks and the way it feels, fit and finish is nice. It's a knife that you gotta get a custom tool in the grip because at first it's gonna feel like if you're not accustomed to having karambit style fixed blade with longer blades it'll kind of feel a little bit awkward in a way smaller blades with karambit style knives or karambits feel a little more comfortable than a longer blade but once you get used to it and you swing it around you stab with it you hit some targets with it you get used to it, it starts to feel better ring is a perfect size perfect size ring perfect size ring my finger slides in and out fairly easy for my big hands the dimension for the ring is cool too pretty pretty cool uh, dimension for the rings the knife is really relatively thin you know see that is a fighter knife it's very very thin you see right here thin to the scales tone which I like scales are a bit rounded I'm, I'm not really too careful for rounded scales but it's not too bad it's not too bad it still has a little squareness to it that gives me a little more purchase on the knife for you when it fits in in between the, the, the palm of the hand in forward grip feels weird Filipino grip feels weird feels like you have to ride up so much just to reach this ramp here to have a bit of comfort if you go back here this piece right here just digs into your thumb it just feels awkward in forward grip maybe if you Take the thing out the hole of the ring and maybe if you hold it up, but I don't know, it, it just feels weird, man. It feels weird to me. Finger in the hole or without the hole, it just feels awkward. It just feels way more better in reverse grip. Maybe if this end was smoothing down, smooth it down like that, then maybe it will feel better. It, no, it would feel better if it was smooth down like that in you know, a forward grip, but I don't know. It might not do that. Might might not do that, but I won't do it with my black one. I do it with a stone wash one, so you won't be able to see it. Probably take down this much blade for real. Even if I take down this much blade, a cooler look for real. Yeah, more like, more like a giant fang or like a saber tooth cat. That's what yeah, that's just what it looks like. Saber tooth cats, fang. Any any species of saber tooth cat, there's plenty of them. Um, yeah, yeah, the big ass fucking fang for real. See from a distance, there's a lot of steel, boy. This is very intimidating, very intimidating. Not as stealthy as the smaller ones that I show you prior, but very fucking intimidating for real. So now, yeah, be cautious about for real in combat for real, man. Seeing that the mm, it ramps off, and like when you are doing thrusting, trying to like pretty much shadow box with it, trying to feel out the blade, kind of feel because because it's like a you know it has a belly, it's curved off like a saber. Unlike a tanto, it feels like everything you thrust with this knife. Obviously, because the point curve, the point it feels like when you thrust, it feels like the knife is going this way all the time. It feels like it's curving out all the time. Every time I thrust with it, all I can just keep seeing is that tip going this way, going to the freaking all the way to the right, and which isn't a bad thing, you know, because you can get around with stabs and thrusts, which is not a, it's a cool thing because you get you can get above the target. It's just something you gotta get used to if you're not used to having reverse grip karambit style 
saber blades unlike a tanto unlike a tanto with a tanto blades just if you hold a tanto in reverse grip that blade just goes straight up like about here tanto blades just straight up so it feels more stabby stabby when you just thrust in that blade just going straight unlike this it feels like it's curving so when I do get the Bastinelli one, the real one, the longer one, like out oh, here, shit like this fucking long dude. Dusting with that, I know that shit, that fucking blade is gonna feel like it's going way fucking straight to the friggin' east, boy. Straight to the east. That's how it just feels every time you thrust. But, just gotta get used to it. You know, you gotta hit the target. You get used to the target with that, and. This knife is a good candidate for that. This is a scary ass knife. Yeah, good ring, you know. Feels good when you're doing the conventional Bali song spin. I mean, psst, Bali song spin. Karambit spin. Feels good. Real nice and smooth. Chanford and crowned all the way around. That's what you have to freaking expect anyway. And that's really it. Overall, wait, it's not really it, but overall knife i have no freaking clue probably about eight inches seven about seven and a half inches eight inches overall excellent this is excellent like when it comes to these kanku slash masalong knives they are really good knives and I really wouldn't know which one to pick, which one to recommend for real. But I'm going to put a link in the description for Amazon for this knife. I really don't know which one to recommend. It's like, they're super affordable. Fuck it, just get all of them, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess you could like, choose and pick which one you would really like the most, you know? Depending on your laws and what size blades you can carry and your part of the world or your part of the country you know you are you guys already know me alone no boy you know i don't care this is what i will be carrying reach length you know what i'm saying just look at that it's a lot of steel it's a lot of steel i don't remember the number for this knife but i am going to like i said descriptions in amazon for this giant fan anyway that's it for now oh yeah one more thing putting it back into the sheath is something to get used to because the curve you, you can't just you can't put it in here you have to go all to the end and slide it in so i have to get used to that shit for real that's weird i keep jamming up in this end with this pca back here to, um begin to go to the end slide it in before it go, this is how it carries. So it carries like this. The weight on my left side, right out. Pushing it back in, power it in the end, push it back in. Yeah. Anyway, man, see y'all later. I hope you like this review.